David Perdue is a businessman and a Senate candidate. He's currently running for Saks Pachambliss' old seat in Georgia because Chambliss is retiring. And this guy made the mistake of telling people what he actually thinks about keeping jobs in America. So he was asked by reporters about his past. He worked as an executive with Pillow Tex Corp, which is a failed textile manufacturer, and he outsourced jobs, or he played a big role in helping to outsource jobs. He said, quote, Defend it. I'm proud of it. This is a part of American business, part of any business. Outsourcing is the procurement of products and services to help your business run. People do that all day. I think the issue that people get confused about is the loss of jobs. This is because of bad government policies, tax policy, regulation, even compliance requirements. It puts us at a competitive disadvantage with the rest of the world. Even today, right now, this administration has policies going on that are decimating industries. Okay, let me decode that for you because I can speak Republican. What he's saying is, we got too many rules and red tapes and taxes and whatnot, so we need to, uh, we need to take away all that stuff and make the United States of America like Bangladesh. Okay, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Look, guys like this, they look at NAFTA, GATT, the WTO, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which is currently being negotiated. It's been negotiated for a while now. They're trying to iron out the details. Hopefully they never do, okay? But he looks at stuff like that and he goes, rock and roll. I love it when the American people lose their jobs, which pay them decent wages, and they get replaced with low-wage jobs, and we ship all, all these jobs to India or Bangladesh or Malaysia and pay people 37 cents uh, an hour as opposed to $23 an hour plus benefits here in the U.S. This guy loves it. Why does he love it? Because for him, it is great. He's part of the ruling class. He's part of the owner class. He was an executive. He's telling you, oh, yeah, we love it. My job wasn't affected, so I'm cool with it. Those are the only people in America who like NAFTA and so-called free trade deals. Because it's not really free trade, it's just outsourcing. You're just taking good American jobs and shipping them overseas. Now, they argue that, well, it'll lower prices, which is good for the consumer. Okay, but they don't have any money to buy those products, which now cost a little bit less. Why not have your soap and your toothpaste cost an extra, I don't know, 13 cents and employ somebody in the US and give them a living wage. Isn't that better than us feeling responsible for slave labor in random places around the world? I mean, this is one of those issues where this isn't even a, a average Joe Republican versus average Joe Democrat issue. We actually agree on this. Your run-of-the-mill dude in Arkansas, Republican guy, uh, or Kentucky, or Nebraska, and your Hawaii slash California slash Massachusetts and New York liberal, we, we agree. We say, no, I don't want our factory jobs and good middle-class jobs being shipped anywhere else. No, keep them here. Make, put rules in place that make people keep them here. The only people that disagree with us are the establishment. The ruling class, the elites, because from their perspective, it is great because they make more money, okay? They make more profit, and they it it does it doesn't matter to them. It's just a byproduct of what they're doing that you might lose your job, and middle class people are going to lose their jobs, but it's not affecting them directly, so they don't give a fuck, and they're making a little bit more money, so they're even happy about it. And then they argue for it out loud. What this idiot doesn't understand is that. Republicans, they need to at least pay lip service to the idea that they give a shit about the middle class and the poor. We all know they don't, but elected Republicans are supposed to be softer in their rhetoric and pretend like, oh yeah, my job is to bring uh, jobs back to the United States of America. I care deeply about that. I want uh, good paying jobs, but he can't even help. He can't help himself. He can't do it. He's like, uh, I like outsourcing. Yes, send the jobs overseas and, in fact, deregulate here to make us more like Mexico or Bangladesh, and then I'll be happy to create jobs here. Once there's no minimum wage, you're making no fucking money and you have no health benefits.